Jessica Simpson. <clears throat> well, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. It's that time again. Welcome to VWF. This yours truly, the J and Factor Joseph Matos hand. It seems that Jessica Simpson will be our 19th local athlete against the G against the Gina Carano Federation. Jessica Simpson will try her hand against the GCF. Yep. And if you guys remember what I said last time, every person will be when we not consider VWF roster the Gina Carano match, they will be GCF. And I have plenty of open grit and 18 graves have been filled in the back of the arena. And quite possibly Jessica Simpson could be the 19th victim of me being uh, me burying the uh, me, me burying. My shovel's ready and primed. 18 graves have already been filled. Jessica Simpson believes that she wants to try her luck here. Okay, let's see if her, sight, her unpredictability will play a factor in this. That's going to be one of the big what-if factors of this match. Gina, who has been extremely dominant, 18 wins, all of them by flawless victory. Everybody has tapped out, and that was not a good idea to show off like that, Jessica. Big rookie mistake. She still hasn't learned that lesson, and she's just got a German suplex for her troubles. She has been dominating, and hell, she should get a title shot. She's been dominating like half the roster right now. She's buried half the roster. And, you know, FCW security always digs them out of the graves, and then I will have to put them back in. Guess we gotta go for some flirt for some blows here. Caught Gina with a drop kick. Words are kind of jumbled right now. Oh, wait, Irish whip. Wait, pulling her back. Oh god, knee right to the right in the right in the midsection. Literally knocked the wind out of Jessica, at least for a short time, and a big knee! And that Jessica, that's what happens when, well, you don't really respect the knee. Hell, I would knee the referee right now, but my knee <laughs> hurts like hell for the past couple of days. <coughs> big high kick. Oh wait, go ahead. And if this is amateur wrestling, Gina would get two points. And now unleashing the fists. She's trying to beat, beat, beat Jessica Simpson so hard, the face paint will come off. She's trying to punch the face paint off. And a uh, scoop slam. Oh, dropping all her body weight down. Let's get going for the ropes. Senton splash. And denied. I don't know what the hell she was going to try to go for, but she got powerbombed the daylights out. Maybe it's the next week or to the next dimension. It's being a weird and crazy things. Wow, the infight, speaking of the, in, you know, the infighting between the Senshi is still going on. You saw Minato, or a few minutes earlier, Minako and Makoto have been, are at it again in, the, in this giant ass argument. And it's getting to that point. They're going to explode it sooner or later. It's like it's like you have two powder kegs. You're waiting for which for which for, and you light one of them, but you're waiting for which one is gonna explode first. And what I don't get is why would Usagi have Fred book a tag team, a number one contenders tag match, having them team up despite the fact that they're at odds with each other. They're not. They can't work well enough together right now. Hell, I don't even think they're in the psych, in the, you know, in the right psych, in the right mindset. Wait a minute. And wait, before I go there, I thought, what the? Sakura, what the hell? Great, Sakura. And you and she's been upset for the past couple of weeks. She's changed. Hell, look, her look has changed. She's been attacking Jessica Simpson constantly lately. They had a big. Well, so much for that body splash. Gina easily able to roll out of the way. And what kind of evil intention Sakura has right now? Sakura, who's been. Targeting Jessica Simpson a whole lot lately, and it got even more frequent with that backstage just with that backstage fight before FCW security with their developmental powers breaking it up. And Jessica Simpson locking on the camel clutch. She's trying to make Gina humble. She's she's gonna make her tap. Yeah, she just made her tap. She gave her her first loss. Well, you gotta be kidding me. The referee didn't see it. The referee did not see it, and we clearly saw Gina Carano tap out. That could have been her first submit. That would have been her first loss. And oh, forget about it. 
Sagara cost Jessica Simpson the match. Jessica Simpson had Gina beat. She had her in the camel clutch and made her tap out, but the referee did not see it. And Jessica Osara, even though technically, if it weren't for Sakura getting intervening in that matchup, you would have gotten a win. But unfortunately, now you must be buried. The GCF continues. And Gina Crown could say that this day she has Sakura to thank for saving her ass. Because if it was that was not the case, she would have gotten her first loss. So you gotta wonder what beef she has with Jessica Simpson with all the constant attacks lately. But now, but I hate to say it, but now Gino gets Gina gets her 19th win. Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice. Wow, can you believe that? No, I mean, really, can you believe that? I can't believe that the Winter Sisters sold the Vita and Attack Team Championships. As Laura Croft is making her wing, uh, her way to the ring, I don't know why the hell I said wing. What the hell am I thinking, the wing promotion? But anyway, Laura Croft, who hasn't really, we haven't seen much in a while here in the VWF, after being buried, I, I think she had a hard time trying to dig herself out of the grave that I buried, that I put her in, after Gina Carano destroyed her. But Gina Carano, it, while her and while her, she celebrates her 19th win, Laura will have to face another challenging opponent. I don't think it's like she's ever faced before. Oh, great. Well, her music's changed. It looks like she gave her look an upgrade. Harley, who's literally lost her damn mind. And no, I'm dead serious. She's lost her mind even further. She's lost her mind more than former SMA wrestler Ray Kurosawa. Now, we're talking about straight, crazy, sadistic, and that covers a lot of ground here. Well, Harley would be in one. High unpredictability. No caring for human life. Something tells me that Fred might need to order a gurney, get a hot, get an ambulance truck here, because by the time this match is over, Laura Croft might be needing a <coughs> surgery. And here we go. Laura arguably has one of the most strongest punches in women's CW right now, second to the kid in SEA and CCL. And here we go. Will the punch save her ass? Is Harley Quinn? who is very dangerous, very unpredictable, will use any means necessary to win. If it means that she's gonna impale you and use some kind of weapon and put make it to the point where you can't, li you won't live long enough to see, 
Blah! Oh god. Man, I'm really jumble today. That's really crazy. Okay, I'm gonna re let me try to rephrase that. Even if she has to take a weapon and break a ligament, that's how far Harley would go as long as it gets her the win. Hopefully, it won't come to that. But Laura's gonna have to think, choose her moves really carefully and try to end this early. So that way Harley won't get some crazy offense in. I'm going to hit us all with hard knee shots to the spine. Now sending Harley into the corner. Oh, baited her right into it. She's baited her right into her Karana. Harley charged in re reckless. Herb having the bigger ego. And that made her pay the price, at least for the time being. Now Harley's gonna give gonna turn the tables shoulder first right into the steel post. You got posted. Harley now literally beating the daylights out of Laura in the corner. And I'm putting her up on the top rope. Nope, Laura's not gonna have any of that crap. Me well, Lose that Lose that will be pleased that one of his great one of his favorite maneuvers was modded. Oh huge roundhouse kick to the side of the temple and then it is stopping the leg. Now setting Harley Quinn up for a ride. And no, Harley Quinn with a reversal. Spinning heads is just taking it. And delivering another big hand right into the face. Setting her on the apron. All oh, staring right on the ropes. Johnny Ace will be pleased that his ace pressure was used. And Harley Quinn, for some reason, calling a timeout when, you know, there's no timeouts in wrestling. And a big vertical suplex on the floor. As the referee begins his 20 count. Like in SCA, there are 20 counts here in the VWF. And Harley Quinn taking full control, at least at this moment. And Laura trying to turn the momentum back to her side. And that's going to be a big question if that will happen. Yeah, Harley was staggered at least for a second. Oh, she just gave her another one to the to the outside. Another ace crusher on the ropes. And Harley, Laura's dazed. Laura's dazed. Harley up on the top. No, she changed her mind. Wait, now she's changing her mind again and win it. Good God, what the hell was that? I think she was trying to sit on her. I'm trying to sit on her, or give her a leg drop to the shoulder? But whatever it was, it worked. Even though Har it took more out of Harley than it did out of, out of Laura somewhat. Now Harley trying to get back get right now on the apron, just stalking Laura, and Laura's dazed. She doesn't have a damn clue where she is right now. And, oh, dude, look at that, just raking the eyes on the ropes. And, oh, springboard missile dropkick. And I'm just laughing at Laura's pain right now. I'm just laughing at her suffering. She Harley's having a fun time right now. And Laura not pleased with that and responds in kind. Oh my god. Really slamming her face first, like a reverse like a reverse Falcon arrow. Two and oh man, I was, I was so close to three, you could taste it. It could have been a big move like that that could have ended this match. Oh, forget about a powerbomb of death. Harley Quinn just powerbombed the living daylights out of Laura Croft. She powerbombed her the next week. Now wait, got her over the shoulders. And, oh my god. Hell, I'm, I'm debating what to call that. Should I call that the fun house? Or the trip to insanity? Two... And forget about it, it's over. Harley Quinn literally could have broken the neck of Laura Croft right there. And I'm st and hmm, hell, I mean, don't let you guys decide. What do you think I should call what Harley Quinn just did? You want you want it to be like the Funhouse, or you want to call it the Trick to Insanity? I'll leave it. I'll leave that to you guys. Because I'm debating on those two. Because that reverse Falcon Arrow that got her, that nearly ended the matchup, but Harley somehow had some sense to get out of it. 
Now look at this. Just look how Laura's neck literally is compressed as she lands. And you can count to 100, and Laura still could not have gotten out of that. You know, Ross, really look out. We got, a, we got an insane, we got a psychopath in the back. We got a psychopath in the company. And the crowd is not pleased. The crowd is not happy that Laura Croft was not able to put, away, put this woman away. The crowd thought the Harlow was gonna, just gonna be some no-name jobber. They should have known better. Wow. You know, I can technically say that soccer is now in it for herself. Talking about a crazy attitude change, even though she does she does appoint everybody as of late is beginning really desperate to get a shot at the VW title. It's going to the point where people are now betraying their own partners uh, and everything just to get a shot at the VW title. They're willing to sell their souls to the devil to get a shot at the VW championship. And here comes the greatest of all time, the VW Hardcore Champion, Lightning who accomplished her very first challenge of not using any weapons last week. And all of you fans will bow down in respect to the greatest of all time, future Hall of Famer, and she's, demand and she's asking for a microphone. You all will bow, you all will show respect. Here's going to be a very interesting challenge, here comes Lindsay Lohan, who's going to be either the next victim or the person to dethrone the greatest. And guys, you heard Lightning's challenge, she will not, she, or the, the challenge for this one is, she will not go for any type of reverse or counters. No defensive, any, no defensive maneuvers. 
I don't know, man. Because we don't know defense is very important, but to but to actually put a restriction on you blocking or reversing. So Lindsay, you know, <clears throat> this could be easy for for this could be an easy to Lindsay. This could be easy. You know, she can hit her with anything she wants, and lightning will not go for any type of block. She will not go for any evasive maneuvers or even reverse any holds. Which means this forces lightning on the offensive game. Yeah, this is, this is going to be a little bit challenging. I'm not going to lie, this has been a weird-ass night. Interesting, but weird at the same time. Lindsay doing the low-hand pose. She's like... She, she wants him to cheer for her because she has money. She wants even more money if she gets back the hardcore title. And double the health benefits. Alright, here we go. The referee showing the champion and challenger what this is all about for the VW Hardcore Championship. Showing it to the crowd. Photography going on everywhere. People with camera phones. Sending it to Twitter, Facebook, every social media. Wrestling magazines and newsletters around and around the in the around the fans too taking notes. And Lohan, look at this, Ori immediately going on the offensive. And Lightning cannot go for any type of defense. Which means she's gonna take all this punishment. And remember, Lohan and Jessica Simpson are the only two in VDF so far to hold the, cha the Hardcore Championship for, an, for a very extended period of time. Now setting Lightning on the apron. And hit tossing her right back in. And then dropping an elbow and a knee. Now sending her into the corner. And Lohan, going in a vicious clothesline. She was trying to aim for the windpipe, but missed by narrow by by a couple of centimeters. Lohan really wanted to like, destroy the voice. Wanted, I guess, to destroy the vote the, the voice box of lightning. Oh, shoulder tackle, and it said lightning. So far, she landed jaw first, right on the barricade, and the referee is having a seizure. And then grabbing a steel chair, our first weapon of the match. See some guy with a broken leg holding his crutch out. Oh, back suplex on the floor. Flipping elbow to the, to the back, low hand in control, taking full advantage of the restrictions that Lightning put on herself in this. And, Lohan, you were an idiot for taunting right in front of a conscious opponent. And Lightning making her pay for it. Also, guys, let's not forget that the up next will will be the main event, number one contenders match for the Vita Tag Team Titles. Minaku and Makoto will be facing Ani and Samantha, the Gears of War, or Sam, as I like to call Samantha for short. But the big question people are going to be asking is, can Minako and Makoto work together? I don't know. I can't understand why Usagi would book a match, with, a book that kind of match with them, with the Gears, especially with the state that both Minako and Makoto are in. I know for a fact that it's not possible. They're not going to be able to work together. It, the same she could explode. Like those two could explode, and one of them could. It could be possible somewhere down the road. Maybe one of them might leave the Senshi. It's possible, unless they, you know, patch the differences up. But the way things are looking right now, it's, it, there's going to be infighting between them. And I got a feeling it could happen. It might happen. And look at that. The Japanese table is being brought out by lightning. God, I love the Japanese table. And that scoop, but I did not like the fact that lightning was just scoop slammed on that table. Now, 
that picking up. Oh my god. Just picking up and just dropping her with a protoplex. Once again, dropping the knee and the elbow into the head of lightning. Got her gut wrench position. Gut wrench suplex. Using some Greco Roman right there. Oh, you gotta be kidding. No. Oh, you gotta be. No, not that move. Son of a bitch. She just used the, the most hated move in wrestling. She told Lightning, what did the five fingers say to the face? She told her five knuckle shuffle. Uh-oh. And lloyd has got some evil intentions in mind with that Japanese table and... Oh no. 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 Oh my god, Lightning. <laughs> she so missed the table of the Japanese table. Now Lloyd deciding what else to do with it. After using the FUB. Lightning's down. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, so table, Japanese table shot to the back. And Lohan thinking about what to do with that table. She has to beat Lightning to death with it. Oh, what's that? Gutting her with the table. And I'm putting her on the Japanese table. Oh, this is not good. Oh, no. Lohan up top. This ain't gonna be pretty. And... She put herself through the table. Her leg hit lightning a little bit. It hit lightning a little bit, but she ate the table. She ate wood and... Wait a minute! She no so being put through a table! One count. Man, Lohan must have... Lohan must have had drunk something, man. She must have drunk the Vince Russo Kool-Aid. An idiot. Lightning's gonna end this nonsense. Wrath of Odin. Wrath of Odin. You can count to 5,000. Lohan ain't getting up. It's over. Lightning is still the hardcore champion. Hell, even though the hardcore title is under 24-7 rules, no one has had the guts to go and face Lightning at all. Lohan ate table, man. She ate Japanese table. I thought the roll-up could have won it, but only got a one count. And then when Lohan was recklessly taunting right in front of a conscious lightning, lightning made her pay for it with the wrath of Odin. And the leg was hooked. The one, the two, and the three. The three. And Lightning, the greatest of all time, future Hall of Famer, is still the VWF Hardcore Champion. You all will bow in respect. You will clap. You will give her an ovation right now. You will follow her on Facebook and Twitter. I demand it. Or I will give you the leg drop.
Wait a minute! Preemptive strike! The doll must have overheard the discussion and probably beat, and beat the daylights out of Tifa for it. Tifa's down, and Tiffany's trying to call for some medical help. Well, guys, here we go. It's main event time, and I'm curious to see how this is going to turn out, and probably you guys are too. How in the hell are Minako and Makoto going to work together? <clears throat> How the hell are Minako and Makoto going to work together with all the problems they've been having lately? This is Fed Vital. Usagi with both of in this match, this number one contenders match for the Vita attacking titles. But the way they are, I don't know if they'll work together. And here's the team who can work together. If Sam and Ani get a shot and beat the Senshi here tonight in this match, they will get a match, another match against the, against the Winter Sisters, but this time the circumstances will be different because, you know, Tax and Gold will be on the line. Ani, who got literally got beat up by the Winter Sisters last week, I wonder if she's feeling any better or she's still 100% after the beatdown in the parking lot. That's why I still, I still said that Ani should have brought her gun with her. But the Gears of War definitely had their work cut out for them. No lie. Right, here we go. Contenders match, Vidaya titles. And here we go. Try over collar elbow. Couldn't really get a, get a big, good, good... Now you got to feel out and just staring down. Gotta wonder who is gonna make the first move, and Minako makes the first move. Exchange of blows. Anya and Makoto. Blah! And, um, I don't know why the hell I said Makoto. My, my, I'm sorry, my words are really jumbled tonight. Okay. Anya and Sam, the power, are the pure power of this match. Well, Makoto's pure power, too. To self claim Amazon. And Sam with a big DDT. Shut her off the ropes. Deal with the world backbreaker. Working on the lower back and now unleashing those fists of fury to the side of the head. And the referee is yelling at air. Now we said in the corner of first tag. Ani and what are we going to see? Some tag team drop toe hold elbow. Ani, nice discus punch. I said I have a ride. Wait a minute. Wait, what? Oh, there's the big, big update. If Minako and Makoto lose this match, Usagi's gonna do something and make some decision. I don't know what the decision will be, but whatever it is, it can't be good for either Makoto or Minako. But so far, I haven't seen much tension between Makoto and Minako. I guess they're trying to put the put it aside to get the shot to tag team titles. I got a feeling sooner or later, somewhere in this match, there's gonna be some press and tension. Oh wait, that was a blind tag! Now Koto, a legal woman in the match. And look at Minako, just leaving the ring. Where the hell is she going? I'm going to the other end. Yeah, she's like, I'm not, I don't like that side. I'm gonna go to the other side. Oh, big drop kick by Makoto Kaino. Sailor, Mer Sailor Jupiter showing off that power. There we go. DDTing the leg and now setting Anya for a ride. Big knee. And you will respect it. That clothesline. 
Notice how Makoto is not even looking at Minako right now. She's not even bothering to go uh, tag her in. Well, so far it looks like they're not. It looks like they're working together somewhat. Yeah, I wonder how long that's gonna last. Only tagging the other out of necessity. Ani has been taking a really big beating right now, Jawbreaker. Sam is trying to get Anya to get her to make the tag. Big move! We got a pin! Two! No! We could have new double contenders. Anya got the double under hook. Oh, double under hook suplex. Now sending her right back to her corner. I believe if she if this goes well, here we go. Attack the scene. We're gonna see here. And slingshot to the corner. And electric chair is literally lifting her up, man high, and it's just dropping her on her head, on her body. Sam using that power to her advantage. That is good. Front face lock. I thought she was going for a neck break. She just elbow, sent the elbow right to the throat, right to the windpipe. And look at her strength. Look at the power. And just dropping her military press. Sam's like, yeah. Elbow. Elbow. So far, the gears have been in, uh, in, the, in, the, in the advantage so far. The rookie, they're doing, their team looks a lot better than the Sanshi right now. Mako and Minako haven't really done much as a team. And Sam and Ani are keeping this match well into their control. And Ani's in the game. She's really into it right now. She's feeling that momentum build up. Now making a tag. Back to Sam. And now this time, double axe handle to the run, to the arm. And a big full Nelson. We got a pin. We got a pin. One, two, not only one. Hell, man, that could have been over right there. Oh, big, big chop. Nathan's chop and a reversal there by Sam. Sam turning for a Larry got counter right into a back body drop. Like a leg drop reverse DDT. And one, two, no. Only a two. And once again, guys, if you notice, Minako has not bothered going to make tags to Makoto at all. Wait, never mind, there we go. But she, you know, didn't make the tag for a long duration. Like I said, out of necessity. And they're both trying to focus here. They're trying not to let their problems get to them. You know, that could be easier said than none. Drop kick to the chest on the corner. Makoto is going to try to use her power here to overwhelm. But what better way to fight power with, well, power. Oh, turning for the knee again. Sam blocked it. And off. The center face first into the mat. Her dinner was canvas. And it did not taste good. And yeah. Rocket launcher from the corner over there to the other side. That big ass discus punch. Maybe some distance. Truck kick to the face. Look like right between the eyes, too. Wait, I think that's not a good idea to cover right in front of Minako. 
and essentially be, they should be thankful that that was on a three. I don't know, I mean, there was some odds there. Hell, man, I couldn't even bother helping Makoto. As Anya is, once again, just overwhelming. Just overwhelming Makoto right now. Makoto getting her ass beat in the worst way possible. And I'm making an attack to Sam. We're gonna see some more double team maneuvers here. Double that body drop. The gears are literally just having their way with the Senshi right now. You see the signs too, man. There's no helping here. Nobody's communicating. Nobody's working together. The gears are working together. And Makoto. German suplex with a bridge. One. Two. No. Anya just gave a leg drop right to Makoto to make her let go. But was unable to block that Savak kick. That French kickboxing coming into play. Running drop kick at the corner. And another drop kick to the chest. That, that can make your chest feel compressed. Oh, Makoto. It could be signaling for the end game. Nope, no MKO for you. Head scissors takedown for you. Yes. And now Sam's sending Makoto to their side. To the gear side. Oh, it's yanking her from the corner and just dropping her like she's garbage. The arm now grabbing a handful of hair. Grabbing the hair again. Making the tag. More double team maneuvers. Oh my god, double STO. That could be it. One, the two. No, only a two. It was close to a three though, no luck. And wait a minute, Anya. Wheelbarrow Face Buster! We're about Face Buster, and that could be it. One, two, do the boy hitters? No. Fucking that discus punch again. And now Makoto, knee, that Muay Thai knee, and another knee to the shoulder blades. Well, to the shoulders. I don't know what the hell that was. A springboard dropkick to a down opponent? I don't know if that was a good idea. You might need to come back to the drawing board on that one. Irish whip to the corner. Drop kick. Wait, what the? Did Minako just purposely avoid a tag? Wait, what the hell? <coughs> Makoto just big booted the hell out of Minako. And Anya, wheelbarrow face buster once again, and that could be, I mean, I don't know how Minako can still bother with the, be competing right now. She just got, she got big booted the daylights out of, oh my god, double oh, cutter right there. Double cutter, and that could be one, two, no, not even a double cutter will put Anya down. Anya with an elbow to the back of the head. Front face lock. Another elbow to the back of the head. Makoto, what a Muay Thai knee to Anya. Now into the corner. Now making the tag to Minako. After they had that little altercation. Double hit toss. Oh my god, double kicks to the back and to the to the fits right to the front and back. And we might see a V kick. Oh, it's over V-Kick. It did, got denied. Then they send her to their side. And Sam holding her down. Headbutt. Now back into the corner again. Uh-oh. This don't look good. Irish whip. Oh my god, double, sh double generic shoulder tackle of doom. One. Two. It's over. Whoa, looks like next week we're going to see what this decision that Usagi's going to make is going to be all about. Yeah, and, he, and I saw that altercation, guys. Minako inadvertently, advertently or inadvertently avoided a tag. Makoto got so pissed off she big booted the living daylights out of her. Here's 
Here's some of the many double team moves in this match. Double hit toss. Right into that kick to the front and back. But this is what ended it right there. That, geni that shoulder tackle of doom. Look at that. Boom. But in the end, because of the, the, the fighting here between Minako and Makoto, the problems they've been having lately, making them not take this match serious, leads to the Anya and Sam getting a number one contenders match for the Vudai Attack titles to face their foes and rivals to the Winter Sisters. Well, anyway, guys, we're running out of time. This is yours true, truly. The JM Factor, Joe Smart, saying good fight, good night, and we'll see you guys next week for another episode of Nitro.